Hello and welcome, my name is Andrea Croci and in this video I will explain to you the word awareness, what I mean by that and uh, how the understanding of the word will make your life successful, happy and fulfilled. To begin with we want to know the definition of the word awareness which in Google is, uh, is given as knowledge or perception of a situation or a fact. In my own journey that led me here in front of you in this video, I heard different versions of definition and meaning and uh, I heard so far there are two main versions which I align the most with. The first one allows us to perceive the outer world. That means that thanks to our five senses, sight, smell, taste, hearing and touch, combined with our emotion, to name a few would be love, first of all, sadness, anger, happiness, and uh, enthusiasm. This kind of awareness is reactive. What does it mean reactive? It means that we are aware that we feel something, that we touch something, that we smell something, but we don't have control over it. Sometimes we feel love or we feel anger or we feel sadness and we want to change that feeling but we are incapable to do so so we don't have total control over our awareness or our knowledge or capability to modify our state in a reactive awareness so we are like legs attached to a pole and have, we have to wait for the wind to move in a direction. We can't choose our direction. We need to be guided from something from the outer world, an emotion, a feeling that it comes from the five senses to be able to do something and we can't control what we do. So in that case it will be like the flag at the mercy of the wind. The second type of awareness is, is a inner awareness. It's, it allows us to understand the inner world inside us. And by being able to do so, we can have better control how to respond to the awareness of the outer world, to the reactive awareness. A sound, it, just, it becomes just a sound. It's not good or bad. We feel a sound, and we have control to decide if this sound is going to be uh, the one that creates happiness or anger. It's not reactive. So this awareness is called proactive. So how is use awareness in coaching? When you on your own, when you don't have a coach, you generally use reactive awareness. You are aware that you are unhappy, you are aware yeah, there is a problem, you are aware you need to find a solution, there's a solution out there, but you are unable to achieve that knowledge, you're not able to put that solution in practice. So the second awareness is when usually a coach is present, because the coach will guide you in the inner awareness, in the proactive awareness, so you will understand the situation, you will understand what is the problem, you will make better choices and uh, will not react to the outer experience, to the outer situation. So let's use an example and uh, I will use myself. I was a master's therapist for a long time and when I first started I didn't have clients so I have to advertise and uh, find a way to get people on the master's table. At the beginning I was like unsettled, I was like always nervous, I was like contacting colleagues all over the world to understand what was the best marketing strategy to get people in and uh, often I felt angry because when I, when I took the phone call from uh, potential clients, 
I was lacking of self-confidence. So when people asked me for my rates, I wasn't unsure of what to answer. I was, was not confident in giving the price that led the people to not choosing to come to a session and uh, that made me sad, angry and unable to grow my practice. So in that case, I was aware of the problem. I didn't have clients, but I was reactive to, to this problem. I was not objective. I was reacting to my own feeling of anger. I was reacting to my feeling of sadness and that was transmitted to potential clients over the phone. So they choose not to be uh, cared from a therapist who was sad and reactive. After discovery in the awareness, thanks to a coach, I become a different person. I change. I woke up happy. I woke up aware that I had uh, the means to help people all over the world with my uh, techniques and I wanted to share it so instead of like being a happy unhappy because I didn't have clients I was happy because I knew who I was I knew who I was at the moment and how I could help people so instead of being sad and angry I asked people who could not afford my rates to come in for free and have a record session so that I could share the session over my social media and people would contact me instead of me looking for clients. I had clients looking for me because they watched my videos and they were asking how much you charge to do that to me. I hope this has helped you and will help you in your journey uh, of personal development and growth. And if I served you well, if I did my job, I ask you to share this video in the next 60 minutes. Share it with your friends, with your colleagues and with your loved one. So if you feel ready to take the necessary action to achieve your boldest goal and you feel you need the one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, get in touch with me and start being proactive towards your goal instead of being reacting to what's going on around you. Thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Andrea Croce and I'll see you soon.